If you've ever had a machine tool down because you needed to clean a coolant tank, you know how annoying it can be. Let's find out how these Yorkshire-made, made-to-measure swarf conveyors from LNS can help keep your machine tool maintenance-free. So Tim, we're here at the LNS production facility. You're making swarf conveyors, loads of different types. We've got an MH behind us right now. This is kind of your flagship product. Yeah. Before we talk about the MH specifically, um, what makes a good swarf conveyor that you guys are producing here? Yeah, we produce it here. We, 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 we design right at the beginning of the process to manufacture and to give a solution to all our customers. Yeah, and why is swarf conveyors um, an important part of the production process? People often forget the importance of a swarf conveyor when they're when they're using their machine tools. It ultimately, it keeps, keeps the machine running, mach machine cutting, without the need to stop. Yeah, and what, what do they do What do they do they right when they work properly? Yeah, they, work, they, they take the swarf out, out of the, uh, the machining area and they, and they drain the coolant back to the coolant sump. Yeah, I guess you want to be saving coolant out of the, out of the you don't want to be sending it into, into the swarf bin, out to the exactly, to yeah. recycling plant. Yeah. But you also want to be making sure the coolant is in the best quality possible yeah. going back into the machine tool. How do you do that? So with our MH conveyor, it filters the coolant at source. So we're separating the swarf from the coolant to give optimum coolant life and, and tool life. Yeah, absolutely. And that makes sure the machine's running, I guess, as much as possible. As we'll talk about the benefits a little bit later. What are the options for an MH? I guess you've got, um, and how does it work? Yeah, so we, we've got two options, the MH500 or the MH140. And inside the, the conveyor belt, we have brushes that are constantly cleaning the filter boxes within the conveyor. Fascinating. And 500, 140, what does that mean? 500, five, it's five, it filters the coolant down to 500 microns. 140, it's 140 microns. It's quite simple, really. Yeah, it is. And, um, but why would you pick one over the other? Yeah, it's all down to applications. If you are on a lathe that's got a milling function, and you're doing high volume aluminium or brass, I would definitely go for the 140 micron. If you're just doing a simple operation, definitely the, the MH500. Okay, interesting. Um, so when you've, uh, when you've uh, implemented one of these conveyors, you're filtering your coolant in your, in your conveyor without it getting into your sump, what are the benefits? What, what happens when you don't filter, you let all that stuff go into your sump? What happens when you do filter it? Yeah, ultimately, the, the, the tank will fill up with swarf, which means machine downtime, coolant starvation. So your you, machine will be down for longer without filtering the coolant. Absolutely. So it helps people to cost, customers to maximise what's happening with a machine yeah. tool. What about in terms of part quality and surface finish and other stuff outside of the maintenance? Yeah, benefits? It, people forget about that. The, the coolant life is extended. The tool life is extended. Simply down to filtering your coolant at source. So if you're going to add up, I guess, the costs of your coolant, your tool life and the downtime from maintenance. What happens when people are trying to do a return on investment calculation? It's, it's, people will be surprised how quickly they get the return of investment, within under 12 months for sure. Brilliant, so a surprising return on investment from the MH series built here in Yorkshire at the LNS production facility. Make sure you check out your Swarf conveyor next time you're looking for a new machine tool.